Okay, today we're talking about pine cones. Now, pine cones are grown using the same energy as a galaxy and DNA and every single thing that I've spoken about in all my videos. Energy travels in a double helix and it has two leaders which spiral upwards which powers DNA, one coming up, one coming down, powers galaxies, turns the earth, um, vortexes from the sun, they all start with two leaders, electricity, smoke, steam, it's all electromagnetic radiation pulses and uh, today I'd like to show this um, double helix energy uh, flowing through a pine cone and uh, creating the waveforms in double helix patterns throughout whichever direction you look at it it's double helix all the way so what I found was um, these are closed pine cones excuse the terrible picture um, it's just one of those things I've got a little video here coming up of what I did so I found a pine cone just wandering around picked it up underneath it starts with two scales um, if you follow these around which I did here with numbers and um, Roman numerals you will find that you get a double helix pattern if you put one two three four five six seven eight um, to each um, waveform petal thing uh, that touches the top of the previous one and you follow these up you will get a gap in between the numbers so I again started at the bottom and put Roman numerals and followed the line up and it fills the whole pine cone so you have two liters at the bottom that spin round in a galaxy spin and meet at the top in another galaxy spin it is double helix there is a space between them it is two rotating leaders in a pine cone which is energy and there's another image of the uh, Roman Catholic Church and the pine cone with two snakes which is electricity and the electromagnetic field because everything's double helix so no so I drew a paper so I can explain what you're looking at okay so this is it so we've got pine cone double helix formation by energy waves so we've got a profile there and an above this is the energy flow so both of those arrows at the bottom of the profile are traveling clockwise if looked at from below they rotate around and this is how you get the ability to put in numbers and Roman numerals and they both spin all the way to the top to the right of that you have above and the spin is a galaxy spin that is the travel of the scales and it begins and ends with the Fibonacci sequence of increasing and decreasing energy flow now when it's closed and you draw on the two scales that are at the bottom and you follow it round it will look like that you get a double helix galaxy spin of energy both going clockwise upwards now when it's open it shows not only is it a double helix rotation galaxy spin all the way up but each wave is also a double helix traveling in the actual spiral so that when it's open you can see the double helix and this is shown by baby pine cones here so what you actually have is two different directions of energy that are visible one up um, and one horizontal one vertical one horizontal and the interference wave that this will cause will cause it to rotate upwards because if you take two straight lines going left and right and two straight lines going up and down and you rotate them or sorry you push them together in a soaring motion both ways you will get a circle a rotational circle all you need to do is take like a pepper grinder if you want to falsify this and if you move the grinder around you can make it rotate by moving straight lines backwards and forwards and up and down now I'm guessing that this uh, interference waves 
wave causes the Fibonacci angle of 137.5 degrees, which as you can see on screen there, is roughly to what I've drawn and what is in the pictures of the pine cones. So that's about it really. Um, now I just wanna show you another couple of things about pine cones. Even though it's double helix up and double helix around, here we see the fact that it shoots out energy fingers, which are double helix. And other than that, um, you just kind of have things like third eye pine cones, uh, the pineal gland, occult secrets behind pine cone art. It's all to do with energy. And so if anything's happened to me, the Lord activated my pineal gland um, and illuminated it completely. Uh, but the pine cone of God is everywhere. And the pine cone of God means double helix energy which has two leaders always and it's coming from God's hand in Habakkuk 3.4 original Hebrew and from his hand protrude two horns and this is the hiding of his power so hopefully people are starting to see what I'm putting down here is absolutely correct and uh, I can place a double helix inside of anything because that's how everything grows and this is the kind of proof that shows it Thanks very much. My name is Lee and I'm a Christian.